Hey guys, so breaking news, MTG, Wizard of the Coast, is banning seven cards for racism. So, wow, this is pretty intense. Now, cards are typically banned because they break the format or they're too strong. I don't think anyone would argue that these cards are very strong. Uh, even Invoke is not a very strong card. It is the most expensive of the cards, and luckily most of these cards, including Crusade, which is interesting because Crusade has been reprinted so many times, and even as recently as Auspef's own deck with new Auspef artwork has a Crusade. So Invoke, Cleanse, Stone Throwing Devils, Paradise Gypsies, Jihad, in prison and crusade are all banned from competitive play or any play and when you look for them online the they're going to replace the card images with we have removed this card image from our database due to its racist depiction text or combination thereof racism in any form is unacceptable and has no place in our game nor anywhere else so essentially they're saying these cards are racist and therefore they are banned because they are racist. Now will this be the only seven cards? I don't think so. There are a few other ones. Uh, one particular cleric comes to mind where the cleric is doing something or receiving something that's not, you know, not great. So would that be banned on religious grounds? Very similar to cleanse or stone throwing devil would Ali from Cairo be banned because of the image so it's interesting there's going to be a lot of older cards that right now could be on the ban block not because of they're broken or anything but because of the image now I do want to talk a little bit about crusade uh, when I was young as many of you know I played magic since uh, kindergarten Crusade, we've always had Crusade. Crusade was a alpha beta card that was reprinted in essentially every core set just about. And I always thought that was kind of a weird card. Like Crusade was like, hmm. And then once you learn about the Crusades in middle school, you kind of realize, oh, this is a really bad and the children's crusade when they sent the children. That was not great. And obviously Jihad, kind of like the... Uh, the opposite version, but the same as Crusade. So I've always felt that that was kind of weird. And my friend made a... Uh, so the the black version of it was Blood Moon. And I made a equality deck. My friend made an equality deck. And it was black and white. I think it had four scrub lands from Beta or something. But the dual lands were not that valuable at the time. So who knows? And it was uh, to show show equality so it had black knight it had white knight or though is white knight and black knight are they going to be banned mm, interesting it had a bad moon which is the version the black version of crusade but a little friendlier because it's one black and not double white overall it is a interesting question uh, to have is should we ban magic cards for racist pictures and or text and or depiction i'm not sure Obviously, this makes sense to me right now, but I don't know if this leads to kind of a slippery slope type of deal. And who really knows, right? Like, who really knows? Um, but what do you guys think about Crusade? Do you think it should be banned? Do you think it should not be banned? Are you happy that invoke is banned that's the big one i knew that invoke would be banned for obvious reasons it was the artist was a white supremacist the artwork clearly shows the uh kkk uh in their cloaks and the very name of it is invoke prejudice so it's kind of like when you talk about a I mean, it ha I mean, it has everything <laughs> that wouldn't make it to get banned for this reason. But nonetheless, it is an important step that Wizard of the Coast is banning cards based on artwork, based on name, 
based on flavor text and based on the general kind of feeling about the card. I don't know. Like it's right now at this moment in time because of Black Lives Matter, and I do support Black Lives Matter. In case you're asking, um, I think yeah, you must ban this card. You must ban this one card. I was a little surprised that they banned six other cards with it. But when I look at the six other cards, I can understand why they banned it. Now, in the future, will this, you know, happen in the future again? I don't know. I mean, I think that it's kind of a, a weird place to be where, you know, cards have typically always been only banned for their power level. Now they're being banned for something that is outside gameplay. And if you had this card and I don't know you wanted to use it you could not use it now at a magic tournament so you've lost whatever that playability value is but I'm sure that the collectability of this card but at the same time like if a dude has like a bunch of these that's probably not a good sign if you're a minority <laughs> you know hey let me show you my uh, invoke prejudice collection I'm a big fan of this artwork I would probably be like all right it's time to leave now Anyway, let me know what you think. This is pretty uh, interesting. It definitely is. At this moment in time, I feel like it's the right step. Now, I think I'm very emotionally attached to the Black Lives Matter movement right now. I want to support them in any way. My interns made sandwiches and ran down. And today, the guy, George Floyd, is from Houston, by the way. I don't know if you know this. And they just had a funeral for him today. But it was a private funeral. So... It's not like you could just go if you wanted to, which rightfully so. I mean, he has two daughters who live in Houston. So it really is a relevant issue for Houston because that's where I live and that's where George Floyd is from. And that's where his funeral was today. So at this moment in time, I think this is the right decision. But I do think if they continue to extend this, um, it could be kind of bad. I don't know. We'll see. Bye, guys.